Groveley Wood is one of the largest woodlands in southern Wiltshire, England. It stands on a chalk ridge above the Wink of Wiley in Barford St. Martin Parish, to the southwest of the village of Great Wishford. It is recognised for its nature conservation importance through designation as a country wildlife site. Folklore is associated with Groveley Wood and the Hansel sisters, who were of Danish origin, moved to the Wilton area. Coincidentally, an outbreak of smallpox in 1737 killed 132 people. The local people became convinced that the sisters were responsible for the deaths and accused them of witchcraft and an alliance with the devil. Without any official hearing, the sisters were taken to Groveley Wood, murdered by being bludgeoned over the head and then buried a little way apart from each other so they could not conspire against their murderers. There are four gnarled beech trees associated with the sisters. Another piece of folklore talks about the Burcombe Woodsman, who is thought to be a poacher who was hanged from a tree for his crimes. People report sightings of him in the forest, which are normally associated after hearing the cracking of a twig. Royal Air Force used an ordnance depot at Chilmark, west of the wood. But during the Second World War, parts of the wood were used for open munition storage. Open storage of munitions went on until 1951, and the RAF made use of sidings at the nearest station at Wiley. And the area was also used for the same purpose by the United States Air Force, using Wishford Station. Nice uh, boxing day, boxing day, and we're just on a little walk with the Doge. The Doge is with us. Come on in. Oh, Doge is doing business. This is a country lane which is somewhere quite near Dinton, and the deal is here that there's some air raid shelters which are in the forest and the reason they're here is because all around these forest areas in Dinton they used to have uh, bombs stored in and tucked in the forestry and the bombers wouldn't see that they were here any German bombers wouldn't be able to see them because of the cover of the trees but uh, this was full of ammunition some of which, I, it's a bit like Savanac Forest, they did the same thing there. And they said um, they, they misplaced some of it, so there's a possibility that in some parts of this forest there are actually bits of ammunition still hanging, hanging around, sorry. Um, so, just going to check to make sure I am going the right direction. Make sure we are. Yep, we just keep walking along this track for a couple of kilometres. And then we should see, we should see the uh, the stuff that we want. So, as you can see, dog is looking good. She's had a bath. It's making some uh, bits of fluff want to come off her. So I think she needs a uh, brush now. She's had a bath because it's dislodged and loosened all the fluff. But you will never see that dog's butt looking this white because she's just had a bath and a blow dry. Normally. Uh, that butt is a bit more of a shade of brown with all the walking and uh, and then she walks the mud in on her bed and then she lies on the bed so you can't keep them clean every day but yeah so nice little forestry walk and it's a lovely day whereas it was chucking down with rain yesterday so um, I can put the locations of these if anybody wants to come and see them they are quite easy to access so I'll put that in with a video so everybody knows where we are as there's nothing really stopping you coming to see these this is a forestry walk track so it's all good and uh, yeah let's go and check it out folks yeah so I think we're about halfway there now 
so it shouldn't be too far but um, yeah we're gonna go and check out uh, some stuff near Southampton as well later on oh what's this I can see is this a oh it's a shed farmer shed yeah gotta keep my eyes all around me today when I'm down with her off the lead because uh, of course popular walking spot for dogs and uh, we don't want her bumping into any because she's a bit aggressive with other dogs so ah now do I just keep going on straight or does it go round to the right I thought it went round to the right um, it's an old farmer's uh, old farmer's thing oops yeah where are we now oh let's have a look at my oh Christ <laughs> it wants to show me pubs in the area I bloody hate this Google Maps like you know yeah you want to see you oi 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 come here come here come here come here Come here, come here. Right, this is where I've got to get her on the lead. You'll see her playing up in a minute now. You see her misbehaving as she does. You watch now. go past she's a bit stroppy this one <laughs> yeah good girl. <laughs> see what I mean yeah that's what I was expecting she's got to be uh, Mrs Bossy cheers come on and to you yeah cheers come on now you stinker what are you doing see that's what she's like she's rearing up kicking off can't bloody trust her. That's why she got to come back on her lead, you see? Not so quickly it can happen. So we don't uh, we don't give her that option. Naughty, naughty stinker. Right. Uh, so yeah, I think it's straight ahead. Although I need to double check that because right when I started to look at my phone, guess what? The stinker. Right, so I think. Oh shit, there's no more people. Have they got a dog? Yeah, they've got a small dog. So I think here I have to go to the right. So, yeah. Like that. I go slightly right. Yeah. And then. There's two ways now. I think I've got to keep going straight ahead. Uh, not exactly intuitive, considering it looks like uh, no, nope, doesn't want to show me which direction I'm going. Great. So just keep walking and see if it uh, changes its mind. But where I am because it says I'm there uh, but I think I should be going to the right to be honest I think that is a more right hand bend but I think I took the right hand bend oh no 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 let's try and operate bloody phones when you've got cameras in your hand no it's not really updating well, it sort of is I think it's agreeing with me that I'm now walking you can see it going down the b-r-r-o-a-d-d-r so it's agreeing with me i think we're in the right place but yeah it's one of those just keep going and see what we find it's a fair old walk down here mind although we've done the first half so this is the second well it's the third we've done the first third and on the first third we will find 
uh, oh sorry, second, second, third, we will find one of the bunkers. And on the third, third, we'll find the last bunker. So, yeah. Right, we just walked up here and two people said they didn't know where it was, but apparently it's right next to the, the road and it's supposed to be on this side. And I can see a path where people have walked through. Whoops. So would this mean, would this mean that it's just set slightly back over here? I can't imagine why people would want to walk up here otherwise. I think it's supposed to be right next to the road, but uh, visible from the road as well. What do I know? Uh, it's looking uh, quite secluded. I can't see anything. Oh shit. Not looking good. Stop pulling. Stop pulling. I don't know. It doesn't look uh doesn't look like there's anything here. Right, stop pulling. I'm going to get you off the lead now. Stop pulling me. Right, I don't know. Come on then. Right, so it's not here. But I thought these things were literally visible from the road. So, it's got me now. on the wrong side of the road if it is though the way I was walking down well I certainly put it I've put it in on my map which now won't open oh good right okay yeah it's like saying that's that's that trackway there so it says it's a little bit further back and in over there I don't know now I can't see a bloody thing so yeah, we've we've gone past it. It's over there apparently. Really? I'm not convinced. Shit, we're walking way back past it now. That's if I've got the right um the exact coordinates. That's the trouble. Would it be in here? In the bushes? Oh, it's not good, not good when you can't see it, it's meant to be visible. Huh, no shit. Wow. No, nope. it doesn't seem to like me today, this. Definitely further back, apparently. Could it be that it's on the wrong side of the road? Because I can... I can see logs or something on the side. I don't know if you can see that on the lower half. So maybe my coordinates on the wrong side of the road. Maybe it's on this side. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm wondering whether I'm going to have to get. Um, be down here. I don't know where this track goes. Would it be uh, leading us to something? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Shit. I thought these things were meant to be easy to find. turning out to be not easy to find at all. Hmm. Well, I'll catch you in a minute when I kind of caught my bearings. I'm looking at my photos on the phone and it says it's right next to the road. And what I'm seeing right next to the road here is a big lump where it looks like something might have been dug out. Literally, the edges of it. And there's a bit of a dip there. And I'm wondering whether or not 
somebody's actually come along and taken it out. Why would they do that? Take out World War II history. But we're on the spot. I've confirmed it with two maps which have literally said, like, you know, I'm here. Um, and I can't see it. I literally cannot see it. So it's like you're, it's right here or just a, a step back. But, oh, nice. Dropping parts from my drone, great. We're meant to be my pocket. Right, okay, so, yeah. I'm getting the feeling this is not actually here now. Whoops, sorry, camera pointing in the air. I'm getting the feeling this is not here. So, I've got a feeling we've lucked out on this one, folks, because it's meant to be right next to the road. And I'm not seeing anything like that. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything at all like a lump on the side of the road. And it would be on the left-hand side if it was anywhere. Huh. No. I'm not seeing a thing. Hmm. So, not good, folks. Let's keep going. There's a little white thing has been stuck on a tree there, which is, I thought somebody might be trying to signify, you know, that's the spot, folks, you're here. Huh. But I can't, I can't see anything. Could go in from here and have a look. Come on then, this way. Could go in from this marker. Come on then. Bit of a lump in the ground there, but I think it's just bushes. Come on, Em. <whistles> See, that's where we walked up the path a second ago. I can't see anything from there. There's nothing here. It's meant to be just a few feet back like this, you know, on the map. That's what it was saying. And I ain't seen diddly squat. I know these things can be well hidden, but if it's from the side of the road and we're not seeing it, I think that's because it ain't here. I really think that's... It ain't here anymore. Don't know why they would have taken it away, but our souls will be our souls. We just probably don't like people going and having a look. Yeah. So I think I've lucked out on this one. Nothing, nothing in there. Come on then. Right. Let's walk on to the last one, and that might be all we can manage to get in for today, around here. And if we can't find that one, we're in big trouble. So we're just taking a nice walk with a dog, and this will be marked up as a fail explore. But hey, been there, done that. Right, see you nearer the bottom bunker then. Hmm. Right, I was just walking along and I saw something off to the side. Now, we've just walked about, I don't know, half a kilometre up here. So this is not the one that I was going to look at, but this is another one. Look, and this one wasn't marked. So there's two, one up there, which has disappeared. There's this one, which really exists. And there's one right down the end. I think somebody's got their locations wrong. I think this is the one we were meant to find first time round. Somehow... I got the feeling, oops, a daisy, sorry. Oh, it's got a bloody padlock on it. See, they don't want you in. They don't want you in it, see? So, oh, can you believe it, folks? Come all this way. Oh, look, 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 look. Better not be locked. Oh, no. Look, they don't want people in them. That's why they've not, that's why it's not on the map. Bastards. Bastards. 
But anyway, we can have a little look through the uh, the hatchway here. So I've got my torch with me. But that's a bit it's a bit sly, isn't it? I mean, this is the thing, see, you know, like people have done maps, but they've not put this on the map. And it's bloody locked. There you go, folks. That's what we're missing. That's what we'd like to go and see, but we have seen it now, but you just can't go in it. Yeah, it smells of cement. But yeah, they didn't want us to see that, folks. And that's got a padlock on the other end and breeze blocked. It's pathetic, isn't it? I mean, this has lasted like 80 years and it's absolutely, oops, it's as good as the day, it's as good as, as the day it was built. But they go, no, you can't go in that. Might be unsafe. Really? Hmm. I think 80 years versus your dickhead rules. Uh, I'd rather go with 80 years. I'd rather trust that. Anyway, so we found one. And now we've still got to find another one. And it looks like it's starting to rain. Hi, right, folks. Well, any minute now, we've been walking, bloody, I don't know, five, six kilometres. I don't know, probably more than that, even down here. Um... And we're just about to come on the last location, which is going to be uh, somewhere up here, within a hundred metres. So we shall see. Keep an eyes out. I did speak to a walker, and he said, "Oh yeah, there is something on the side down here." So I think if it's visible, we're not going to have a problem uh, finding it this time. I was having a little think when we were looking at that last one. I was thinking to myself, I know why they don't um, they don't have people going in it. It's not because they think it's dangerous, it isn't. Oh, vibrations. Uh, need to charge. Oh dear. Uh, it's because they don't want people vandalising them with graffiti. Oh shit, that's just gone off. Right, just as I, just here, the gimbal died. So I turned it off. I looked to my left. What do we have? The gimbal died at exactly to the step where we want to go. Come on in pups. Is this one open? Oh yes, it's open. It's open. We can go in. I can hear my voice echoing already. Now, here's the thing. Where's my, where'd I put my um, torch? Huh. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I'm not going to wear it on my head, but it'll do. Come on then. Come on. She's like, no, no, it's scary. Don't know what it is. Scary me. Here we go. And that's what they don't want is all the graffiti, which this one does have a little bit of. Although, thankfully, somewhat respectfully, in chalk, so it could be wiped off if necessary. I mean, that's, that's nice of them doing it in chalk. But at the end, the spaz-tards have been at it, as you can see. Uh, here we go. Hmm, surprisingly dry in here, really, considering that's open to the sky. I'd expect it to be really, really wet in here. So, see, old technology, the old ways of building things, Sometimes better than the new. Because if this was built today, it'd just be a bloody uh, quagmire. So here's the steps. So we have achieved a goal. We have achieved a goal. And we have found, as Ian from IKS would put it, the bunker. The bunker. So, that's it then, folks. On that note, I can charge up my, uh, charge up my failing battery on my camera as I walk back. And, uh, yeah, maybe do one bit more drone footage and then uh, it's time for the walk back. So, secret vault. Wow, we're on a Roman road that goes two miles that way and two miles that way. Pretty straight. We've been looking for bunkers today, old air raid shelters. We found a few. One was demolished. We found one that wasn't on the map. It was locked up and breeze blocked door. And the other one, the end, was still open. So as you can see, we're here with uh, La Pooch, who's looking quite white today. Although she's been doing her best to walk in mud patches, so I'm sure she's not gonna look very white 
when I have a closer inspection. In fact, the back of her legs look a bit, back of her front paws look a little bit dark now. But there we go anyway, folks. Hope you've been doing something today, not just sitting in the house watching shit on television. So we'll catch you soon. Yeah, sun's setting now. And uh, we are still walking back with a nice little sunset, which is a nice, nice way to end the evening. Oh God, I calculated this is probably about uh, five miles, five or six miles maybe all the way down and all the way back so yeah it's been quite a walk but uh, yeah it was worth it I, I remember now I actually calculated to do this journey on my uh, bike my electric bike and I thought ah that'll be just right for this and then today I was like oh yeah I think I should take the dog out for a walk let's go and do this and of course I kind of forgotten it's it's quite long it's quite a long one so, uh, dog's going to be happy. Don't walk through that puddle now. Well done. She went round it. Good. Anyway, so on that on that note, and on this nice sunset, oh, on this nice sunset in the trees, we shall catch you uh, on the next one. <laughs>